Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever caught yourself comparing your business to someone else's business? Have you ever caught yourself comparing your decorations to someone else's decorations? Have you been scrolling through Instagram and started comparing your life and where you're at to someone else's? Guys, if I'm honest, I compare myself too. So in this video, I just wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about what happens when I start comparing myself, and then I wanna talk about how I get out of it because it's not healthy, guys. It's not healthy for you to compare your business or compare anything that's going on in your life with someone else's, all right? so. Let's get started. So I usually start to compare myself when I'm on social media, right? So when I start scrolling through social media, I see someone else's page or someone else's decorations or something that's going on with someone else's business. And then I start to compare, right? I also notice that I start to compare when things are slow for me. So when my business is slow and then I go on Instagram and I see that other people are booking clients like that, then all of a sudden I start to compare. And then what I do is I start to second guess my business and what I'm doing with my business because I see other people who are booked, right? I just want to stop here and say that I'm running a 40% off sale on all of the templates on my website, okay? So if you are thinking about starting a balloon decorating business or an event decorating business, I have templates, contract templates available for you on my website, okay? Don't start decorating your clients' events until you have a contract in place. I also have design guides and I have balloon menu templates available, okay? So everything is 40% off. Make sure you check the description of this video. I'm gonna give you guys a link, okay, to check that out. I also start to compare a lot when I'm just down. So if I'm in a bad mood or if I'm frustrated or if I'm depressed, right, it seems like I start to compare more, right? I start looking at other people on Instagram, and then I start looking at, you know, how their life looks on Instagram, right? And then I start to, you know, get down. I start to um, feel more depressed and more down and more frustrated, right? And let me tell you, there are times where I'm comparing my business to other businesses that I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know these people. I don't know their business model. I don't know, you know, their business practices. Like, I don't even know them. But because I see pictures, because I see their videos, right? And because I may be in a certain mental place, I start comparing. So I will tell you guys, I am very competitive. Like I am super competitive and I have had to realize that that is not necessarily a good thing. Growing up, I was always the person that I always strived for like the highest, right? So in school, I wanted to get all straight A's or on a test, I wanted to get all hundreds, right? I remember growing up, there was this kid in my elementary school and he used to always get higher grades than me. And it used to kill me because all I wanted to do was get higher grades than him, right? Like I was just super competitive like that. I've always been like that. And now I'm realizing that I need to like tone that back because really there's no competition. Everybody has their own businesses Everybody offers their own decorations, and I don't need to compete with anybody. There was a quote that I seen on Instagram 
that said the only person you need to compete with is yourself, right? Meaning it should be your goal to just get better and better and better and better. Don't pay attention to what other people are doing. Just focus on improving yourself. And when I seen that, I was like, you know what? That's talking to me because I do need to just focus on myself and what's going on, right? In my business, in my world, right? And just focus on me getting better, not focus on trying to compete with someone else. People can present whatever they want on Instagram, right? So people can show on Instagram, you know, all of their events where it went well. They may not show the events where it doesn't go well, right? So I have to remind myself of that, that Instagram, people put stuff on Instagram that they want to show, right? That doesn't paint a full picture. So let me give you guys some tips on what I do when I start to compare and I start to go down that rabbit hole, okay? I always try to stay in communication with God, right? So I start my mornings reading my Bible and doing my devotional and praying. Right now, my prayer to God is that I hear his voice and I'm able to drown out all of the other negative voices, even if it's mine, right? Including my voice when I'm being negative. So what I pray to God is that I can hear his voice and that I can take his direction Wherever it is that he's leading me with my business, that's where I want to go. And I don't want to go anywhere else, right? I also have to remind myself that my blessings are my blessings, right? I can't get caught up in what's going on in somebody else's business because doing that, I'm going to delay my blessings, right? What God has for me is for me and what he has for someone else is for someone else. Another thing that I have to realize is that when I start getting caught up, if I'm slow, when somebody else's business is booming, like for me, I have to use that as inspiration rather than discouragement. Because you know what? If God will do it for someone else, then he'll do it for me. So it's a matter of me changing my perspective, right? God does not want us getting caught up comparing our lives and our businesses to someone else's. Now, I do think it's okay for you to study someone else's decorations that you aspire to, right? But use it as inspiration, not as a place of discouragement. So I have to remind myself that if I'm going to be looking at someone else's work and someone else's page and someone else's life, I can use it as inspiration, not as a place of doubt and discouragement. And then all of a sudden I start questioning my life, you know, and what it is that God has for me. I will tell you guys that I take breaks from social media. There are times where I will just stay away from Instagram. There are times where I will stay away from Pinterest. I will stay away from TikTok. There are times where, you know, I don't even go on YouTube except for to post content. If I'm at a place where I need to make a decision, if I'm at a place where I'm already feeling down and discouraged, I just know that I can't go on social media because that's going to just make it worse, right? So I will recommend to you that if you're in a place where you're already starting to compare and you're just vulnerable, right? Um, I just, I wouldn't go on social media. I, I'll, I'll tell you from my personal experience, I just feel like whenever I'm feeling down and something is going on with me, social media makes it worse. It just seems like everybody is winning <laughs> on social media and I'm not. So I do take breaks from social media, you know, when I need to, I take mental breaks just so that I can make decisions. I also take breaks when I feel like I need to focus on my passion. I need to focus on when I feel like I need to focus on what lights my soul on fire. So yeah, 
I just wanted to make this video to talk about the comparison game. Guys, please do not get caught in the comparison game. A lot of times we just scroll through social media, right? We're scrolling through Instagram and we start comparing. I just want to encourage you and motivate you not to get caught up, right? So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, let me know uh, how you deal with comparing yourself, your business, your life, your decorations. Let me know how you deal with it in the comments, all right? So as always, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in my next video.